Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to continue to look at two set Venn diagrams. Here we have some data. It's a little bit different from the last video, if you watched the last video. The 20 is the same. This represents the number of people who were surveyed. So a total of 20 people were surveyed. 15 of those people have said that they own dogs. Eight of those people have said that they own cats. And three of those people that were surveyed said that they own neither dogs nor cats. Today, Pippi's gonna help me out a bit, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully it doesn't fall over. What we're gonna do, Pippi, is make a little box to house our data. In the corner, we're gonna indicate the universal set S. And as I pointed out over here, the number of elements in our universal set is 20. Again, this is not technically part of the Venn diagram, but it's just a good reminder for us to check in the end that the total elements within this Venn diagram is going to be 20. Before I actually create the circles, what I'm gonna find out is, do these numbers total to 20 like I'm expecting? So let's go ahead and add them up. We have 15 plus eight plus three. When we add those up, we are getting 26. So you might think, how is that possible? We're supposed to have 20. What that means is we actually have intersecting sets. That means we have some people who own both dogs and cats. The difference between what we are getting when we get that total and what we're supposed to be getting is what belongs in our intersection. So this means that six people own both dogs and cats. Which means when I draw my Venn diagram, I'm going to have to have an intersection. So I'm gonna draw two circles that are intersecting. I'm gonna label one as D for dogs and the other as C for cats. I'm gonna take the six that I've figured out belongs in the intersection, and I'm going to put that in the region of overlap. That's representing those who own both dogs and cats. It's a region of overlap between our two circles. Now here, a common mistake would be for students to just go ahead and put the 15 there. But remember, six of those are already accounted for in the middle. So what actually belongs there is 15 minus six. Pippi, what does that work out? Nine. Nine, yes, good. There we go, nine. Let's go over to cats. So going back to our data over here, we have eight people who say they own cats, but six have already been accounted for in the middle. So we're gonna go eight minus six to get the two that own cats only. The last thing we need to take into account is the three who own neither dogs nor cats. That's gonna go in the outer region. And in fact, I could have put that in earlier on because that's the only place where it could go. Before I say I'm done, I'm just gonna do a quick check to make sure that all of these add up to the 20. So let's go ahead and do that. So nine plus six plus two plus three does give me 20. So I'm gonna say, awesome, we are done our Venn diagram. This will be an example of intersecting sets. Thanks again, everyone, for coming out today. Have a good day.